Hi there, I wanted to show you guys how to set bleed on a decal order. So let's say we wanted to send this to print uh, and we wanted to cut these shapes out. So this go on glass or anything else like that. Uh, we need bleed on this. We don't have to, but bleed is uh, its important. If we add bleed to it, it adds a little bit of extra. We want to add a little bit extra red here. And in doing that, um, when the knife comes to cut this along, if the knife happens to be off just a little bit because of vinyl stretching or inconsistencies or whatever, uh, the bleed will compensate for that and make sure that we still don't see any white along that edge. So in order to do that, we need to take any text that we have in the file. We need to convert it to outlines. So in Illustrator, it's Control-Shift-O. And that's outlines, curves, paths, um, pretty common for that. And then the other thing that we want to do is right now, these are basically just grouped shapes. So you can see here there's a group with the individual letters. We don't want that. We want this to become one solid shape to build the bleed around it. Um, and in doing that, uh, any edges as, as this bleed comes together here, it won't overlap. It'll just merge. So it, it makes for a simpler, easy to use file. So to do that, we're going to hit Control-8 um, in Illustrator. And by hitting Control-8, that's the same as going to Object, uh, Compound Path, Make. Okay, And so it actually converted it to white or, or no color, so that's okay. We go back to our whatever our original color was. Uh, not really important, just for demonstration here. But um, we have that. And then I also want to take this shape up here, which is a logo, and I want to hit Control-8. Now I'm watching closely to make sure nothing changes. Sometimes when you hit Control-8, like you saw down there, uh, things will change. So uh, those are things that you'll need to deal with as they come up, but um, making this one compound path work. So now you can see we have two compound paths. This one is the logo, logo, and then this one is the meeting hours. So just keeping things organized so it's easy to understand. Um, the next thing I want to do is I, I want to actually create a cut path layer. We're going to do that real quick and then come back to it. But uh, cut path layer is important and then this layer will actually be called the artwork layer. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we want to um, create an offset path. So I'm going to select everything here because we're going to make the same bleed offset path for everything. And that's actually going to create our bleed. So object, uh, path, offset path. And we want an eighth inch offset path, which is 1.25 inches. And miter and miter limit, uh, and the joins are not real important. But we can hit preview, and you can see it creating that bleed for us. Okay. So the nice thing about this is when we do this, you can see um, that that bleed is joining when it's very close. And that's what we want it to do. We don't want to create a bunch of extra lines and shapes in this file. So uh, click OK there, and we've actually created that bleed. So now within, the nice thing about the offset path is we have the original path here, which is the actual file that we want to print and cut. But then we've got this bleed that we've created. So what are we going to do with this now? We're going to take the original um, objects, or the original files, and those are going to become our cut paths. So I can see in my layer selection here, that the logo needs to move up there and the meeting hours need to move up there under the cut path and this artwork with bleed we can call this just to kind of keep us reminded of everything and so now you can see uh, if I toggle the bleed on and off you can see that bleed coming back and forth and then typically with a cut path what we do is, is we don't we don't really want to fill so I'm going to go no fill here, and then for the stroke, we'll do a pink stroke. In this case, I'm going to do a yellow stroke, so it's a it's a real clear, um, clear and easy to see. So there's that yellow stroke there, and that's actually going to become our cut path. And when you send us this file, because the layer is titled cut path, we'll know that yellow stroke is a cut path, and we won't print it. So this is what we'll print, and then this is what we'll cut. Make it a little easier to see in this case here like that. So that's that's what we'll actually cut. Oh, we need to join that there. That's what we'll actually cut. And that's what we'll actually print. And so that'll give us a really nice layer there. So I see this issue here, and this needs to be joined. So I can select these two and join. Right-click and join there. 
and that uh, that drew that line. So sometimes there's uh, little art errors in the artwork and whatnot, and, and so we want to find those because we actually want to make a cut there rather than not making the cut there. If I would have sent that file without joining that, um, it would have uh, there'd be no cut there, and so you know I would have needed to cut that out manually or something else. So okay, that's how you do it. Uh, I'd save this um, as an Illustrator file, or we could also save it as a um, PDF. If we do save it as a PDF, we want to make sure we have uh, preserve Illustrator editing capabilities on it. Um, and then if we change it to, yep, well, okay, so preserve Illustrator editing capabilities is, is really important there. Um, everything else is, is, you know, pretty basic, but uh, um, Acrobat 6 works fine. Really, we can handle any of these Acrobat types. So that's it. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Take care.